Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and it is a fabulous Thursday. Uh, I thought I seen, yes, I did. Hmm, I want that. Can I, can I get it? Yes, I can. Brass. Uh, got to two-hand this door handle. So we're going to start my morning off with a little bit of brass. Uh, of course, I'm not empty. I uh, got those ceiling fans that I picked up uh, Monday on the way home from the scrapyard. And the dishwasher I picked up yesterday. Um, got a little film clip of that because uh, Wednesday... I went to the uh, scrap yard and took some non-ferrous metal in. Um, yeah, that's the first thing I found all morning. I'm about halfway through this neighborhood and it has been very slow. So not bad to start with a little bit of brass. But as you guys watched the little clip I had from uh, yesterday, I'm going to look for my next thing. Well, folks, I'm um, taking a trip to the scrap yard. Uh, now, I've already got the truck loaded up with some stuff out of the backyard, but I figure I'd go over what I'm taking because, you know, unfortunately, they won't let me film at the small scale where I turn this stuff in at the scrap yard. But I thought some folks might be interested in, you know, what kind of prices I'm getting locally for what kind of things. But, uh, you know, I've got a garbage can of clean aluminum extrusion, nice little bundle here, um, two tubs of number two insulated copper wire. Um, got a small tub of clean aluminum uh, sheet metal. Got a few uh, CPU coolers, I believe, are what these are. I found these a long time ago. They've been in the backyard for well over a year, and today is the day. I want to see what those, you know, cash out, because most of these have, you know, copper backs. So I don't know if they'll go as like, uh, you know, aluminum copper radiators or what. I'm kind of curious. But uh, I got some number one copper wire, clean copper wire. Uh, lead acid batteries, I got some electric motors, and I got some brass, and this, I believe this was a pool heater, had a heating element that went in it, you know, it's copper and brass, I don't know what they'll pay for that, how I know is I ain't cutting it up to get the copper out, <laughs> it'll go as whatever it goes, but yeah, let me get uh, ready and get to the scrap yard, and we'll see what all this pays, and I'll go over the ticket once I get back. I got a goodie on the way back from the scrapyard. A metal tub dishwasher. The only one I'll stop for. Funny thing is, I came by here going to the scrap yard and it was not here. Treats on the way home. All right, well, I'm back uh, with an extra dishwasher. Hey, on the way home from the scrapyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So let's go over this ticket real quick. Um, all right, move the glasses so I can see. Um, yeah, uh, 65 pounds of batteries, paid 15 cents a pound, so $9.30. Uh, yellow brass was 17 pounds at $1.85 for $31.45. Um, other non-ferrous, now that's where they paid me on those uh, those little CPU cooler things. Uh, you know, they paid me 10 cents a pound, so that was 60 cents at six pounds. Uh, electric motors was 70 pounds at 18 cents a pound for $12.60. 
Uh, 12 pounds of number one copper, 285 a pound, so 3420. Sheet aluminum, 20 pounds at 32 cents a pound, six dollars and 40 cents. Oh, that's gone down a lot. Uh, insulated number two wire, uh, 79 pounds at 55 cents a pound for 43.45, and aluminum extrusion, 104 pounds at 67 cents a pound for 69.68. So grand total of 207 dollars and 68 cents. And of course, they round it up to the next quarter. So two oh seven seventy five. Uh, not bad. I mean, you know, little time to process it, but you know, most of the things that I process are are fairly simple to do. You know, take some screws out, basically. Uh, you know, the brass is probably the thing that takes the most time, but you know, brass and copper are worth a little time. You know, I don't cut the motors and stuff apart anymore. Uh, it's just it's too hard on my hands actually pulling the the copper out of electric motors but that's all right you know still made a few bucks extra money out of the garbage you can't beat that something anyway I'm just gonna cut the cord off this one more plastic than it's worth well at least something right Something else interesting hanging out of the garbage can. Uh, looks like a trip to the hospital to me. of finding more that yeah, might stay <laughs> all right down the road got me a couple more goodies huh. weed whacker I bet you those well they might be all stainless Cabinet doors or cabinet door samples, I guess, maybe? Hmm. Uh, do you fold down? Huh. It does not look like it. Or am I just stupid? Ah, uh, 
something like that anyway. I swear I fight with these things every time I pick them up. up some anyway a couple little pet carriers not interested uh, nothing else no nope, more samples well it's a little something got me a nice little scrap nugget Maytag washer and go with my Maytag uh, dishwasher. A little assorted skibble scabble, which actually lay that right there and we'll stick it inside. Get that. And then we'll put this stuff in here. Let's go see what's next. Spot something. Oh, I just can't get over this weather today. What is that? Huh. made whatever it is <laughs> yep. well, it'll work oh it's a table that's what that was now Tell. There's plastic. It, no, actually, I think that's aluminum. Yes, it is. And I'm sure that is. Well, I'm just going to throw these up front. A little bit of aluminum. Anything else? Ooh, blinds. Don't want blinds. Funk. Watch your eyes, folks. <laughs> All right, down the road. Something shiny. Oh, a nice big cat scratcher. Anybody interested? Oh, there's a little piece of metal in there. But this is what I stopped about. Big shiny. Tell me that thing is aluminum. Take off. Ooh, 
that's nice. Um, Looks like something that would go on a boat. I mean, uh, we're gonna stick it up this way. And yeah, the wheelbarrow's mostly plastic, so yeah, we're not taking that. <laughs> oh, bungee cord. work yeah so that's a nice big chunk of aluminum a few little stainless steel things to pull off of it and it'll all go as clean sheet aluminum yeah I almost forgot almost I spot some bed frames piece of extruded metal there. Uh, ah. Something like that. Hmm. Nice piece of extrusion. Any more? Something with a cord. What is that? Oh, part of an old fountain. Goofy, you want the cord. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Last neighborhood. That's a scrap yard. It looks like that's all the street's gonna provide. <laughs> oh, let's see. See here. I drag this out of here first. There we go. Somebody brought a fridge in that smells horrible. Or at least that's what I think it is, because, ugh. Put that right there for now. Come on, bungee cord. Oh, 
doing, Pam? This one's heavy, got a cast casing on it. Mm. Oh, can opener. Dishwasher. All right, aluminum. Put this back there. so it don't flip and flop. All right, let's go get a ticket. All right, so back at the house, what's the ticket say? Uh, let's see, 380 pounds of tin shred. Price at uh, seven and three quarters cents a pound, so paid me $29.50. And uh, no, I'm not gonna complain. Not too bad. It covers my expenses and a few extra bucks. I uh, got some brass, got some aluminum, stainless steel, some copper wire, uh, even that uh, that polished aluminum thing in the back of the truck. That's uh, some kind of uh, some kind of boat fixture thing. I don't know what it is. We're just gonna call it the thing. But yeah, pretty good day. Warmed up this week. Uh, you know, right now it's like 74 degrees. It's supposed to go up to 83 today. So, uh, you know, I get the uh, the gift of a, a beautiful spring day in January. So <laughs> you got to be thankful for that. And it was a beautiful day to get out and ride around. Uh, looks like my neighbor needs to mow his lawn. Yeah, we, we mow our lawns all year long. It's just in the wintertime, we maybe do it once a month or every other month. <laughs> I know a lot of folks right now are pulling out snow blowers and stuff. I feel for you folks, but that's why we put up with the hurricanes and the heat and everything else. It don't snow here. Um, but that, folks, that's going to do it for me. So until next time.